Hi, this is Tamim Azizada with Vanguard Instruments, and in this video, I'll walk you through how to perform a resistance test with the Vanguard DMOM 200 S3 micro ohmmeter. Before we can start performing a resistance test, we'll need to make the proper connections to the device being tested. Typical connections are shown in this illustration. The DMOM 200 S3 also offers a dual ground option that allows for testing to be performed with both sides of the breaker grounded. This option includes a DC current clamp that is connected as shown in this illustration. Once the proper connections have been made, we'll start from the DMOM 200's main menu. Press the 1 key to run a test. On this screen, you have the option to enter pass-fail test limits. These limits will be compared with the test results to determine whether the test passes or fails. Press the 1 key to set the pass-fail limits. Type the lower limit in micro-ohms using the keypad and press the Enter key. Now type the upper limit in micro-ohms and press the Enter key. From this screen, you can select the testing mode. The DMOM 200 S3 provides a convenient automatic test mode that can be used to perform multiple tests without having to restart each test manually. When performing an automatic test, the DMOM 200 S3 will sense when cables are disconnected and reconnected and will initiate the test two seconds after sensing reconnection. We'll press the 1 key to select the normal test. We'll now select the test current from the screen by pressing the 4 key for 100 amps. Press the 1 key to select the 5 second burn in time. On this screen, we'll select a ramp time of 5 seconds by pressing the 1 key. A test summary screen will then be displayed. Press the start key to start the test. The current will be ramped and the screen will be updated while the current is being ramped up. Once the current is ramped up to the test current, the initial test results will be displayed and the burn in sequence will be initiated. The current will then be ramped down and the final test results will be displayed. Note that if the test results are within the pass fail range, a P will be displayed. If they are outside the range, an F will be displayed to indicate that the test failed. Press any key to continue. Press the 1 key to print the test results. The test report will be printed on the unit's built-in thermal printer. Press the 1 key to keep the reading. Press any key to continue. You can run another test by pressing the 1 key. We will press the 2 key for no. Press the 1 key to save the record. Press any key to return to the main menu. Now let's take a look at the test results.